Okay, so today we got the uh, we pulled the radiator out again. It's pretty difficult to see, but we didn't really have any good way of mounting the top of the radiator, so I had bought these kind of universal brackets and well, actually I have some right here. So the opposite bracket to this and these you know universal GM type bottom right top and bottom radiator mount things with a little dimple on them and I put them cut them to size and put them inside there and uh, we also had two of these radiator feet so we made a hole in the bottom brace to accept this and this slides on the little stud that sticks out the bottom of the radiator. So now the radiator is in there a whole lot better than it was before. All permanent like. And I addressed our thermostat housing. Other than having some, some crud in there, I don't know what was wrong. So what we did was uh, clean the the rubber seal up really good, cleaned the surface of this really good. The water pump was perfect, I mean there's nothing wrong with that, it's a new water pump. So we didn't do anything to that and we uh, just put a light smear of black silicone on both surfaces, the flat surfaces, to uh, see if we can get it to seal up any better but I'm hoping it was just the uh, a little bit of an additional mung in there. We uh, still need to come up with a better lower radiator hose solution. This is uh, kind of actually th this one I actually accidentally cut too short so I bought a new one and it's cut long right now but it still has the same problem with the kink so probably what we're gonna do tomorrow is go to the store and get a, a hose that's this size that has a spring in it and put that in there just so it maintains its roundness and doesn't get sucked shut then we should have the cooling system done I did uh, pull this hose and shorten it so so these hoses look pretty good now and I put a couple of brackets on here to uh, hold them to the fender still gonna have to uh, shorten our master heat shutoff valve because when it is like that you can't shut the hood so <laughs> we may even just take it off or just cut it down to nothing or cut it short and bend it around so you can just grab it and twist it that's that's simple I'm not really worried about that the exhaust system is all on there with its gaskets after our welding trip yesterday many thanks to those guys for uh, pitching in to help the project along a little bit there's the weld and the uh, the, the, the band clamp type uh, stainless steel exhaust clamps wouldn't fit here and here because this is pretty much shortened so I used the old school type of uh, clamps and booger tack welded the pipes in two spots together so hopefully that holds together and we still have not addressed the, uh, the front hanger at all, but that's not going to stop us from taking it for a first ride. Exhaust system's all on there. Cooling system is 99% done. Hopefully we can get that springy thing on there tomorrow morning. Then... As you can see, we have the control arms on here, and 
the struts are ready to be put back together. So at that point, I'm just going to mount the uh, brake calipers on the struts after we get them on there and tighten up a bunch of bolts, set some initial tow caster and camber settings, bleed the brakes, and we're going to go for a little drive around the uh, driveway around the house. Hopefully we can get to that this weekend. 